Do you want me to put you in the vlog for your birthday? Today is Amalia's 30th birthday. Happy birthday. Thank All you. Alright, happy birthday, Amalia. Candace drives Francine to school in the morning. Some days before my run, I'm a good husband. I'm a good husband, and I go get the car for her. You know, mornings can be stressful in the household when you got a kid. So, anything I can do to help out, you can count on me, honey. I found Ben. I found Ben. Yo, baby. He's right there. I think today is gonna, well, first, back by popular demand. I think today is gonna be the day when I finally, finally, finally give my comprehensive review of the, uh, of the new One Wheel Plus. Yeah, I've been waiting for good weather. I've been waiting for it to be like nice outside, one of those days where I wanna shoot something outside. And, uh, but first, uh, first, real talk. Don't you think I got enough bullshit? Talk. Sorry I keep using that R. Kelly song as the intro. I know R. Kelly is a bad, bad man. I just, it's such a good song. All right, real talk. If, if you're not new to this vlog, you know, in season one and even season two, I was super consistent in uploading every single day, almost always at the same time. And since I started season three, I've been nothing but sporadic when I upload. And I wanted to take a second to explain. Let me animate this. See, in vlog season one and two, the vlog really dictated a lot of my life. Maintaining the interestingness of the vlog, the actual act of creating, and then just the sheer amount of hours dictated my life. For season three, I'm making sure my life dictates the vlog. Focusing on family is more important than focusing on making the episodes interesting. My job is more important and spending time focusing on health goes above spending time editing the vlog. Now, now the only way to do that and make sure the vlog doesn't suck is by being selective when I do it. You know, like we were with family in Texas the last couple of days. It was all about family. The baby was there, Owen was there, Candace's parents were there. That had to take precedent over the stress of creating a daily show. Somebody sent me this, I don't, I don't know what this is. You know, down at Beam, we're working on all kinds of things. Soon we're gonna start making shows and, and movies and all kinds of stuff down there. That means there are gonna be more days when I don't make the vlog. What matters is that these episodes are good, and I'd rather make them you know, four or five times a week and have them be really good than make them seven days a week and have them suck. And then the other thing that's important is, is sustainability. It's when I think back to why I stopped vlogging the previous two seasons, like I started to hate it. And I think it was just the relent, like the fact that I'd never had time to think, it was just go, 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 which has its virtues. But also after a year and a half, it was just, it was unsustainable. So I'm hoping this new sort of thesis, this, this, uh, this new approach to vlogging is something that's more sustainable. I can tell you this much. I love doing it again. Like the process now is so much more, I don't know, it's more relaxing, it's more exciting. It's like yesterday on the plane when the baby was freaking out and Candace was freaking out and I was freaking out. Instead of also trying to make a video during that stressful time, instead I was like excited about getting back to it today. You know, I looked at a lot of my YouTube friends um, when they stopped vlogging. Like Gina and Jesse, BF versus GF, those are my favorite YouTube channels, some of my favorite vloggers. You know, they talked about the stress that it had on their personal life and other aspects of their life. I'm just trying to be responsible and trying to navigate that. 
So I'll still see you almost every day. I'll try to click upload almost every day, but I hope this makes sense and, and... I'm gonna make a juice, do you want a juice? Sometimes here at Beam HQ, we squeeze our own juice. It's happening. All right, Amalia, here's your birthday juice. Enjoy it. Thank you. I got, well, I got that seven millimeter lens oh, that you okay. and I got last week. Oh, that is good. Isn't that, look at how steady it is too. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it feels fancy back here. This is, this is downstairs at Beam, but over there is where we built offices and little, like, it's very professional here. And then Jake and I are turning back here into just like a raw studio space. So ceilings painted black. We're gonna put sound panels on them. What else are you doing down here, Jake? Putting a lighting grid in up here that's gonna be filled with lights. Look, there's gonna be a light panel. So I don't know what a lighting grid is. <laughs> is this your personal stuff or is this ours? This is ours. This is our new gear. Yeah, yeah. This is what happens when you give Jake access to the company credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this stuff, man. We got this really cool follow focus. So, okay, this, I, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I think this is really cool. So, EFS lenses, right? They have a motor in them for focus. So, what you can do is, like, it's how you... So, there's a store called Supreme. Maybe you've heard of it. They sell, like, skateboard... Clothing? I don't know how to characterize Supreme. But the, the fans, the people who buy Supreme clothing, they're called Hype Beasts, really get into the gear. And apparently today there's like the most insane scene outside of Supreme. God. This is the line for Supreme? Yep. And that's the line for Supreme? Yep. Oh my God. Oh, what's up? What's up, guys? Put me on the block! And then that's Supreme right there. Did you get anything good? Yeah, yeah. A whole bunch of good stuff. Let me see, let me see. Check it out. How long did you wait in line? Two hours. Two hours? Pleasure to meet you, man. It's good to meet you. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hold oh my on. Gosh, I'm, I'm looking for this guy. Rich, who pays you when you got to deal with all this? Does Supreme pay you or the city? I wish. <laughs> Do you get Supreme, free Supreme t-shirts? No. No. Okay. You yeah, just got to keep the peace. So tell, let me ask you then, what, what, is, what is Supreme culture? Supreme culture, man, is a fashion culture. It's about young, young people doing things that they want to do and exploring everything, man. Look, you got little kids here, you got grandmothers here. Why do you think here. that they all relate to Supreme so much over other fashion? Because you see, you see the designs, the prints, they're real original, man. Supreme, and then the logo is strong, man. Supreme is a strong logo. It goes nowhere. It's number one, Casey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you, to be bro. Here. Good luck, guys. Oh my gosh! It's... What's your name? I'm Chandler. I'm from San Francisco. Nice to meet you, Chandler, from San Francisco. Literally, you, like, you make me want to go like NYU and study film, and like you're honestly like my hero. Like I'm gonna cry right now. Like stay in school, don't do drugs. I won't do drugs. I hate drugs. All right. I hate drugs. Yeah. All right. Good luck with all these kids. Thanks. Take Very care. Easy. What's up, guys? Uh, in New York City, they have these street teams often that give away free stuff that I guess they just assume people are going to want. These guys here, they're giving away free chocolate milk. It's just one of the great perks of living here. On the one wheel, 
dramatic difference from the from the previous generation one wheel. It's this is pretty incredible. Yo, what's up? Yo, I'm a filmmaker. I love your channel, man. Thank you. Okay, so there's definitely a learning curve here. I'm getting there. Not a lot of opportunities to test the off-road capabilities of the one wheel here in New York City. I really feel like they took care of all the shortcomings, all the beefs that I had with the original version. Now this thing's like, I mean, it's smooth as butter. It's crazy responsive. It's a lot faster. I feel much more in control. You know, I don't know that I'd be comfortable riding this in New York City traffic, but I said the same thing about the boost. I wish I had my helmet. I, I left my helmet. At, I'm gonna test it in traffic. One wheel. You know, I would say the question I get asked the most is should I get a one wheel or should I get a boosted board? If I had an answer for it, if you live in a city like I do, a uh, boosted board's great because it's wonderful on the road. If you live in a place where there's any off road or trails or water or sand or dirt, I, the one wheel is fantastic for that. So I could never ever say that one is better than the other, but um, this one wheel is wildly impressive. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, end the vlog right there.